Hi Collective, I hope you all had a good Monday. This is going to be a timeless message for you all. Take what you need and leave the rest. The first message we have for here is for you is learning and training. There's some learning and training. Maybe this is a new job or school. What is the message for for the collective? We have prepare for a change, collective. Prepare for a change. Okay, messages for the collective, please, spirit. Traditional relationship. Traditional relationship here. And finally, what do we have? Competition and challenge. Okay, competition and challenge here. All right, what is your message for today, collective? You've learned from a relationship that you were in, kind of like now you know how to conduct yourself in relationships, probably in prior relationships, you were doing more of the work. Like you carried the brunt of a relationship for a change. Spirit wants you to know you carried the brunt of a relationship in the past. Spirits wants you, Spirit wants you to learn from your mistakes. We all make relationship mistakes and it's something we all have to face as human beings and as individuals. Spirit wants you to prepare for a change. There's a traditional relationship coming your way. You've been through some competition and challenges in your prior relationships. But now Spirit is saying, I got something better for you, Collective. Spirit, give me a message for Virgo. For the Collective. I'm used to saying Virgo because I have a Virgo channel. Give me a message for the Collective, please, with this traditional relationship coming their way, please. And you could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? Message for the collective. We have the devil. Yeah, that the learning and training that you're going through right right now or that you have already been through was because of a toxic relationship that you were in in the past, okay? Bottom of the deck here, the five of swords. This person hurt you. They said some, some real nasty things to you here. Uh, collective you know a very very cutting person this person could care how less how what they said made you feel and we have this learning and training card here they're saying look i've been through the rough neck stuff i've been through the negativity of relationships i've been through this narcissistic relationship with this person it's time for me to let it go it's time for me to learn it's time for me to know if I, the next relationship I need, I'm, I'm in treats me this way if the next person i get with treats me this way i know immediately to back up and leave that person alone okay prepare for a change collective let's so give me a message for this prepare for a change card please and we have walking through the gates of love after what you've been through okay with this tower card here and this um, learning and training phase of your life from a relationship that was real jacked up it's time for you to walk through the gates and into the arms of love Somebody who's going to love you. They'll be, they're going to wait for you on the other side of this tower here. They're going to open the new gate for you in order for you to prepare for change and move on into, into love. Let's say coming through the, after you go through the gate, you're going to find the love of your life. Prepare for the change that's coming your way. Prepare for the change that's coming your way collective. You're going to find a traditional relationship, but what is this relationship going to be about for you? What is this relationship going to be about for the collective police spirit? Wow, two of cups. A definite a definite one-on-one uh, -on -one physical, emotional relationship that, that's going to be beautiful for you. And at the bottom of the deck, I got the king of cups. So you're going to meet your equal when you walk through that gate of love. Yeah. See, hold on. So we got the Eight of Cups. When you walk through this gate here, you're physically walking and you're walking like into this light, okay? Into this new destin into this new destination here for you. When you cross that threshold, there's something special waiting for you, something very very special for you. After you because you've been through the tower moment. You're probably on the, in the process of getting over this power, this tower moment in your life. Even if it's been a few years, it's upside down now. Was it upside down at first? I don't know. But you're getting over this tower moment and it's going to catapult you into this beautiful relationship here. We got the this cups, the two of cups. We got the queen and the king of cups for you. And we have two of cups. The same thing. 
This is you finding your your emotional your emotional connection with somebody who's going to love you with and respect you in this traditional relationship. It's going to be everything you'd, you'd hoped it would be. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be fulfilling. It's going to be respectful. It's going to be an equal, an equal give and take committed relationship for the two of you. Take my hand. Take my hand. And take this person's hand collective and allow them to love you because you all want the same thing you all have the same the same exact journey the same exact destination your two hands though you not don't see it right now will meet up somewhere in the middle here in your traditional relationship don't compete with this person don't challenge this person don't judge one another you're in this connection. You're in this relationship connect, collective to love each other. There should be no judging here. Uh, because this, if, if there is anything going on, this would be a relationship that's built on fear because of what you've been through before. You can't allow what other people did to you dictate what you're doing in your new connection. This person is going to treat you in, a, in the traditional way. They'll open the car, the car. They'll open the car door for you. Okay, this person will treat you with respect and dignity. For one, dignity is very important to this person. Dignity. This is the, the this is the yin to your yang. We have here the empress. If you want to, if you want to have children or family together, that's that's feasible for the two of you, or bringing children into the relationship. Some of you are single parents, and you will meet the love of your life. Look, meet the love of your life. This, this is going to be a connection that's going to be very traditional. Old, this is an old-fashioned kind of relationship here for you. It's like this, like I said, this person is going to open the door. This person is going to respect you. Going to hold hands walking down the street. This person is going to show you like like you're in a relationship from the 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 fifties or sixties. You know what I'm saying? It's very very traditional, very very loving. Wanting to have family around, eating at the table, not eating out. Cooking meals at home, getting off work, coming home, getting cleaned up, and cooking dinner for the for the entire family. That's a traditional love. That's traditional. Because you're learning and, and you are learning and training in that relationship that was all out of whack, that wasn't serving you. So spirit broke that relationship up and is preparing you with this change for a traditional relationship. You don't, may want to feel like there are going to be some kind of competitions and challenges because both of you all had some sort of baggage, but you got to release that and let it go. And you'll find that you're able to do that when you hook up with one another. Here, we've got the conflict here. I, I think that you all will have the tendency to, to, to buck heads with one another, though you are very attracted to each other and you care about each other. But you kind of go back and, and think about what you've been through in the past and this is what you're bringing to the relationship but you got to understand you're knowing head first that you don't want to create a tower moment and you don't want to create a debacle so you got to fix it before you even get started learn how to fix the arguments before they get out of hand and don't try to compete and challenge each other because y'all went through that damn tower moment before the tower moment is going to always be, be with you but it's how you handle it when you meet this person this person is there to love you, not destroy you. Did you get it? They're there to love you and not destroy you, collective. All right, I'm going to get a final card and I'm going to close y'all out. And we have, that was the king of wands. Let's see if it'll come back out. Give me a final card for the collective. It's traditional love, it's traditional relationship final card here we have two we have the wheel and we have the three of cups you know you may meet this person at a gathering or some sort of party at a, at, you know out of the blue once you move on from that tower moment and for that from that relationship that broke your heart collective you're going to meet that person it's like you're going to meet this person and this person is going to toast to you because they find you so amazingly beautiful or so amazingly attractive you may meet this person through some friends or relatives as well all right Get prepared. Spirit is preparing you for a change. And that change is a traditional relationship. Talk to y'all soon.